phrase where people say, or people are worried about going gray because they don't want people to say, I think you let yourself go. Um, or you don't have to be gray. You could be coloring your hair and people still have that same idea, like don't let yourself go. And um, I wanna talk about that today. I also want to talk about talk to you guys about what it is that I'm using on my hair. Um, sorry about that. Um, and how easy it is to underestimate how taking care of your hair can make you feel. So, first of all, let's talk about what I used in my hair for today. Hello to those um, of you who joined and those who are joined on the replay. So I had not washed my hair in a long time, and um, I had pre little twists, and um, a <laughs> disaster detangling my hair. So I figured if I'm not going to wash my hair, let me put it at least in two twists, or you know, in four twists, so that I don't have less. Um, issues with detangling. Let me know if you guys do that. Do you finger detangle? Do you detangle with a comb? And how do you deal with prolonging your wash day? Um, I decided this wash to use on my hair. And if you haven't seen my other videos about that, I will put it in the description later. Um, last time I used clay, hi, his has, has lean. Um, um, let me tell you something, Hazeline. I just got some wax from uh, Mahosh, and I got their white color. So I'm going to be trying that with you guys. Let me know if you'd like me to try it with you live or um, edit. Uh, and I'll show you that I make a difference because similar to our, our natural hair texture, our gray hair pattern is very unique to us. Not everybody has the same pattern. When my gray hair started to come in, it was white on the hairline. Um, my sister, who is 10 years younger than me, the way her hair is coming in is salt and pepper. So the way to get the color that you're looking for may be that you have to use some other colors to get the desired color that you want. Um, this is how gray hair has grown in. And it has been five years since I stopped dyeing my hair. And my hair was not this white. Um, it's a lot darker in the back, um, but for right now, it is, um, yeah. So I use clay to wash my hair. Um, the last time I used clay, I used bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar, and that was a good mix because it's, bentonite clay is really good for clarifying, and so is apple cider vinegar. This time I figured I wanted to do a mixture. I put a little Russell clay in there. I put a little Kaolin clay, which is great when you use all three of them together because one gives you the clar clarifying, the Russell is more moisturizing, and then the Kaolin is good as well. But I found that when I did that, it, it wasn't as clarifying as I would have liked. I, I shouldn't have put the other clays in there, but it did the job. It, I was able to wash my hair. Um, then after that, I used the TGIN protein treatment. I showed you guys um, that in a couple of videos. Um, and then this time, I'm usually mostly a finger detangler. Like I said, let me know for you guys, do you use your fingers to detangle or do you use a comb? So this time around, I realized how important it is not just to detangle with my fingers, especially if you prolong wash day. It's important to get those shed hairs out of your scalp so that you can have less tangling and running at the roots. Now, my hair, because it's very fine and coily, it can get really tangled, but I know in the roots. So it's important to make sure that your hair is fully detangled from root to tip. So I finger detangled, and I also, while the conditioner was in my hair, I also um, used a wide tooth comb, and I went from my root to my tip. Now, you start off with the tips and then you work your way up. So I don't want you to just start from the top and then you have this um, big knot in the middle of your hair. You do not want that. So I use clay, I use TGIN as a protein treatment, um, which I didn't wanna do. 
Like I said, I was prolonging my wash day. I'm going to give you guys an update on how my thyroid is doing. Um, but these are some of the things that we really do have to commit to in some way, shape, or form because I do feel better since I washed my hair. Tell me if this happens to you guys. I was telling my sister this the other day. When you, um, when I used to get a uh, relaxer, right before the relaxer, I would get my, my scalp would get a little sore. I would get like pimples, like my face would break out. And the moment I got my relaxer, my face was clear and just like all was right with the world. And so I want to know if I'm the only one that that happens to. So I notice even when I haven't washed my hair, which it makes sense because the scalp is an extension of our face and, and our skin. Um, I was having a little bit of breakouts, but once I wash my hair, I just... I also got my eyebrows done. That makes a difference too um, with your face. But that kind of goes to the um, topic too about allowing space for being human and having um, flare-ups and times where you don't always wash your hair on, on time. But overall, when we take care of ourselves, it makes a world of a difference. Um, so we'll talk more on, on that. Um, so after I rinsed out the TGIN protein treatment, then I used my favorite leave-in conditioner from Kinky Curly, not today. Um, my hair first, and I tried a new product. I know, and for those of you who don't know, I try a lot of products, not that you have to get all these products, but that you know what it looks like with um, gray hair. And I love the um, company Nature's Little Secret. This is the new gel, the Okra Curl Defining Gel. So I'll show you guys, Jennifer, your scalp gets sore when it's super dirty. And do you know, I was looking on Green Beauty page the other day, and she mentioned that our scalp being sore like that is, is a good thing. It's a warning that there's some bacteria, like we do like a scalp, scalp scrub. Um, so that if you get sore scalp before it's time to wash your hair, that's letting you know it's time. You know, there's a lot of buildup. And then, you know, especially I'm not sure what the weather is by you guys, but it's getting warm by me. So, you know, we're sweating more. Um, so we have to make sure that we keep those scalp, especially during the time clean. Um, so this is what the okra defining gel looks like. It reminds me of the Obaya Naturals custard we tried. Uh, it's quite thick. It's a thick consistency. It smells good. It's not an overpowering smell. Um, well, Elizabeth, and like I said, it reminds me of a gel. It reminds me of a custard. And so I said, you know what? Let me try this by itself because something else that I'm going to experiment with, um, I love the African Pride Pre-Poo. I love how it moisturizes my hair, the way it defines my hair. And I was like, what if I use it? like just as a styler instead of a pre-poo. And um, I think her name is Shay Soul or Shay Ray. Um, I'm gonna put her video in the description. She, I just like YouTube fashion, I look it up, African Pride Pre-Poo for Wash and Go. And she tried it and she liked it. So that's gonna be my next experiment um, with my hair. So that's all I have in my hair, guys, right now. I have the leave-in conditioner and the red defining gel. It gave me good definition. Um, it's, it's a soft hold product, I feel. It doesn't have as hard of a hold as other gels that I've tried. Um, so if you're looking for something to define your curls or your oils without um, being steady, because uh, even though this is thick, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's heavy, um, but my hair likes heavy. So after that, my hair dries, I am going to put in the Mafajong hair wax. Um, and I'm going to see how, how my hair goes because I am experiencing a little tinge of yellow on some of my tips. Um, and I want you guys to know if you're experiencing um, your hair being, my hair is very soft and fine and um there are some of you who have said like you struggle with like fuzzy fuzzy hair and maybe like less defined as you would like i just want you to know that that happens to me too i have certain areas of my hair that are less defined 
Um, and let me tell you something else I did this wash day that was really helpful. Where did I put it? Okay. I use a duckbill clip. Um, my hair in a tapered style, that helps it to kind of stand up. But as it gets longer, it's going off to the side. So while my hair was wet, I um, took it back. Ooh, can't put it in there now. And I just like did like this so that my hair could fall back as opposed to going forward. And um, that's how it's, how it's looking now. Um, so that was my, my wash day for today. Hazelyn, thanks for the tips. I've been using purple shampoo and conditioner every two weeks. Great. And how have you been liking it? Now, there may be some of you, I do have yet to do an updated video on uh, purple shampoo options and alternatives for those of you who don't like to use purple shampoo. Um, beer is also really great for, um, at least for me, for my hair. It helps to brighten it. Um, but when you are dealing with a flare up, you're dealing with stress and, um, struggle, it's important to have different kind of routines, right? I feel like the summer requires a certain kind of routine for our hair. Maybe you work out more in the summer. Maybe you go outside more in the summer. Jennifer, you have a horrible yellowing after getting your hair flat ironed. Mm. Yeah, Jennifer, unfortunately, when it comes to heat, you know, everybody's hair is different. There are some people I know who use heat with their gray hair and they don't have yellowing. So it does depend on your unique hair. And um, I want to let you guys know that purple helps more with yellow, yellowing and blue shampoo helps more with like orange or copper. So sometimes some people who've told me that they've had damage from heat um, and their hair got like really yellow. Sometimes purple wasn't helpful, but um, blue, blue shampoo or blue conditioner was helpful for them. Um, which one was the one I tried recently? I know it starts with an A. Oh my goodness, I forgot it. I have a video though. I'll put that, Jennifer, in the, um, in the description because when you have yellowing like that, it's good to have a very pigmented um, shampoo to be able to help. And remember, um, your expectations when it comes to purple products, it can help offset the, the yellowing, but it doesn't necessarily get rid of it. I think that's something important because sometimes people think like, well, why is it back? You know, like continued um, use of the purple shampoo maybe can lighten it and lighten it. But sometimes depending on how bad the damage is, you might just have to grow it out. Now, another option that you can use, Jennifer, instead of the purple shampoo, because sometimes what I find with the purple products is it's helpful while it's in the hair and then like after my hair is dried it feels like it needs something there like i told you i have it's not that bad but like little hints of um, yellow in my tips with my white hair and um i've done some videos on hair wax color hair wax um gray or silver and white and those are things that you can put on the tips of your hair to be able to help it was your first and last. You were sad. You won't have the versatility. Ag silver. That's what it is. Okay. So we're you're on the you're on the right page already because Ag silver was what I used. It was a um, purple mask. I think a purple package, and it was very pigmented. <laughs> yeah, I was like helmets, like mayonnaise. Okay. Um, yeah, but another thing that you could use, Jennifer, I'm not sure how you wear your hair. If your hair is straight, I would not suggest using a wax because it'll weigh the hair down. Um, there are gray hair rinses that you can use um, to maybe get more of a, like to cover over that um, yellowing. You might need something a little bit more. Um, I don't know if that helps, but that's something that I'm going to do as well because I, I'm finding... My hair likes gel, but it also gets really defined with wax. It gets really defined with wax. So I'm going to be um, putting that And you. You guys like the video that I did. I think I even came on live and I did like a dark silver toward the back. And then I did um, a lighter color in the front. So for those of you who are gray and you're struggling with it not looking the way that you would like, there are still options for you with color. You're gonna try Pantene Silver or L'Oreal. Okay, let me know, Haslin, how it works for you. Um, 
Haslin, if you're, cause with with the the intensity of yellow for me, I find um, Pantene silver to be good enough. But sometimes AG silver or more pigmented things, you're kinky curly. You do twist outs. Okay, so then you would you would like the uh, you'd be able to do the waxes. Have you tried the waxes before, Jennifer? Um, so yeah, Haslin, you'll see if the um, if the Pantene silver works for you. But sometimes uh, the AG silver is really good because it's highly pigmented. And also, what is the other one that I tried? My memory is off today. There's another one that I tried that's highly pigmented. Uh, I can't think of it. Right now. I have a video for it. <laughs> so I will put that in the description for you to be able to help you. Um, so, um, where, whatever, wherever you are right now with your circumstances in life, really please try and take care of your hair. Thank you, Jennifer. Purple shampoo turns your white section silver. Okay, good. Okay, so then it's working. Um, you may just have to um, continue using that. And I know it is a struggle. Like you said, you want to be able to have that uh, versatility. And, and I don't know. I know what you mean. For me, I haven't had my hair straight in a long time. I can't remember the last time I straightened it. And not for the reason of yellowing, but because I sweat in my scalp a lot. So to me, all that work just for it not to last and definitely not doing it in the summertime um, is one of the reasons why I don't. But I love wigs. It's also something, though, that I will not be um, wearing in the summer. Another thing that's important, guys, of you who deal with yellowing the sun is out now we're in summer to make sure that you cover your hair um oh man i don't have it with me i have a video on sunscreen for your gray hair so if you don't want to wear a hat you don't want to cover your hair sunscreen on your hair can be very helpful to help avoid the sun does tint our hair guys Not just products the sun can also have an effect on your uh gray hair so um in a way to not let ourselves go, this is going back to what I was saying earlier, I'm just thinking of alternative hairstyles when I don't feel like styling my hair. Um, because not washing my hair that long, that's not a good habit to have. It's not. Um, every two weeks, let me know what you guys' frequency is for washing your hair. Do you do it every week, every two weeks? Um, I will be uh, transparent with you and say that there have been times I'm four weeks sometimes without washing my hair when like I would say the last month or two has been a struggle um I just recently got a blood work to check and see how my thyroid medication is going um it's it's just so hard and then I'm also dealing with along with that so you know how that affects um how we take care of ourselves but um I told you guys that I wanted to talk to you about the challenge that I'm going to do. And um, one of my coaches that I was talking to about this said to me, how are you going to stay accountable? And I was like, I'm going to tell my community on here on YouTube uh, so that I can keep myself accountable with um, supporting myself through this um, time. Because I haven't been making videos as much as I usually do either because it's just, it's just hard. Um, Jennifer, you wash weekly. If you go longer, your scalp goes gets sore. And good, because remember, the sore scalp is definitely a signal. Get that hair washed. Um, and so, but yeah, I also want to be transparent with you guys too, because I'm like, you know, I come on here, I tell you guys products and um, how to do your hair. And then there are just times where I'm like, I don't care about my hair. <laughs> I don't care. Um, you're just really just trying to get through the day, right? Um, but yet when I washed my hair today, I felt so much different. So it is important if we can think of one thing that there's, that you can do, um, to take care of yourself. And this is something, let me know if you guys would like to try as far as hair health. Um, there are those of you who are dealing with, um, maybe dry scalp, uh, dry hair, um, you know, different things like that. And um, scalp massages are very important and I know this, but I don't always keep along with it either. 
And it's all good for stress relief. And who doesn't need stress relief these days? Right? Even if you want to do it right now with me on here and just put your hand. You guys are the same. How your uh, hairline. I will say once I stopped coloring my hair, my hairline got a lot healthier. But it is still, it doesn't change the fact that my hairline is fine. And um, that ironically, it's the tightest. It's one of the tightest um on my hair like you can feel that right now like before i washed my hair whew, they were just like this <laughs> they were really really tight so just take the time if you don't have a um uh automated um scalp massager there's one i got on amazon that you can use on your scalp or you could get a handheld one that's like under five bucks or for free, you could use your own fingers and then just like, you know, just circle around. And what we say to ourselves matters, guys. When you look at yourself in the mirror, and especially, I'm not saying I didn't have moments like this when I colored my hair, but especially when you have gray hair, you don't have to have makeup and, and step to the nines to look good. But like something as Get, keeping my eyebrows groomed um another thing i notice i've been letting go is my skin like if we're gonna rock this gray hair y'all we do have to take care of ourselves we if you don't want to feel like you've let yourself go and i will say the times where i haven't been doing that i'm just like i look at myself in the mirror and i'm like oh my gosh yes jennifer why are you watching tv why are you watching me right now put your hands on your on your uh, temples, go inside. I have something I got from uh, Amazon. I don't, I wouldn't say that this is a massager. This is actually, I think for women who have weaves or braids. Um, but what I love about it is it can, when I was trying to like lift my hair, it was able to do that without messing up my hair. So like, you just put that in there, but it feels amazing. Like just, to, and this is, I use as a back scratcher too. I got this on Amazon. Um, but just something as simple as I'm going to do one scalp massage this week. You know, every day would be ideal, but at least once this week, can you uh, massage your scalp to be able to help um, take care of yourself? Um, I bought some things to take care of my skin because I'm 41 now and you know you also get to a certain age that there's not as much grace if you don't take care of yourself as when you were younger um so just learning just different <laughs> it's true Jennifer. so um, there's something I'm gonna try on this channel before using yogurt and uh yogurt feels amazing on my skin it makes my soft um, also if you have thyroid issues you will deal with dry skin you will deal with um, changes um, when it comes to like I've been dealing with breakouts um, not just I notice I'm also getting like eggs because there's this right here that's be a pimple um, I could try some turmeric and yogurt and see if I could get it to lighten but I also get these little bumps right here and I know that it's eczema because it'll get red, red it'll feel really itchy and then it'll die to like you know, really dark and then now it is the way that it is right now so I think I'm be using aloe aloe my friend it's amazing for our skin it's amazing this time of year um uh, with the with it being hot, you get some aloe vera, you cut it up into chunks, make sure you soak it in some water for 10 minutes because there is a latex or uh, some kind of um, liquid that comes from the aloe that if you don't soak it, it can irritate your skin. So if you ever had aloe vera and you've had itchiness, that could be why. So see if you can soak it for 10 minutes then put it in the freezer so that you could take it out and put it on your face is so refreshing. Um, nice and chilled from the freezer. Um, it's also good for our hair. So um, just different things to take care of ourselves um, is important. And 
we can't I think before I even thought of it like it's a luxury and maybe partially because we've been inside a lot you know you think to yourself I'm not going nowhere so you know what's the big deal but my coach reminded me do I show up for me you know are you like that I'm pretty sure a lot of us women are like that we show up for a lot of people in our lives they need it we cheer them on but do we do that enough for ourselves? And I am a big proponent of how powerful words can be. And so one of the things that I'm committed to every single day that I can do whether I'm having a bad day and I don't have enough energy and I can't get out the bed, or if I have a day like today where I have a little bit more energy. And that is when I wake up to take my thyroid. It's nice when you can um, Add a habit into your day with something that you're already doing. And I got to take my meds every day. So when I take my medicine, I'm going to take a deep breath and tell myself, even though I feel frustrated because of how I've been feeling otherwise, and, you know, it feels sometimes when you have flare-ups like this, it can just be a little bit uh, defeating. I still deeply love and completely accept myself. That's my challenge for myself for, for now until the end of July that I'm going to keep you guys updated with on uh, stories or my community page or the community, um, community post. And if you'd like to join me, please feel free to do so. Um, when you look at yourself in the mirror, even though I have gray hair and other people think that that means I let myself go. I think I look beautiful. And I am doing the best I can to age gracefully. Age gracefully. And that's still something that we can do because whether whether we color our hair or not, aging sucks. We do have a say in how it happens. We can um, let it in a little bit gentler, a little bit nicer. nicer. Um, and something else I keep reminding myself is not defined by the color of my hair or if I start to get wrinkles or different things like that. Gray hair is the first step and then there's aging and there's like this acceptance is necessary. Um, so let me know in the comments if you join me on this one to uh, speak empowering things to yourself, loving things and don't let yourself go. Um, take care of you one step at a time. Um, you may not be able to do everything, you know, even if it's just making sure you wash your hair um, or it's a new lipstick. If you're not using a piece of jewelry, or, um, you know, because that is important. Before you to uh, take care of, take care of that, um, um, you feel a little bit different. Um, and this is something that I really have to push myself to do. Because like I said, when you feel depressed, you don't really care about those things. But um, just try to do the best you can. And for those of you who can't even get there, this is why, again, I said words are important. You're still here. You're watching right now. You're still here. There are many people who are going through things behind closed doors that no one knows about. That you go out every day and you put a smile on your face. Um, and you do for others, make sure when you're talking to yourself, you keep uh, celebrating any win. And um, today, my win was washing my hair. That took a lot. It's it's something we're supposed to do, but that is my uh, win for today. So that's what I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about. What I used for my hair today, I'm trying to keep things simple, even though I tried a new uh, hair product you don't have to feel overwhelmed when it comes to taking care of your gray hair. Do the best that you can. The basics are keeping that clean, and your hair uh, moisturized, and um, that might mean if it's dry, but you might have to cleanse more often than else um, does. But like I said, another thing that you can try is some sun massages. Um, because also as you get older, you, a lot of you have also spoken to me about thinning. Um, I haven't felt like I had any hair loss since I've been on thyroid medication. 
thing because that was something some people spoke about when they've tried it. I am on Vox level for Oxy. Um, and I've been on it for since since May. Since May. So it's two months. Um, like I said, I got blood work. I'm going to see what the levels are. Um, love is patient. And we have to learn to be patient with ourselves when we're going through changes. Change is a constant in this life. And I keep being reminded that when I feel defeated sometimes, it's because I'm trying to rush things. And some things can't be rushed. And uh, especially if you're dealing with mental health Losing power, which it's plugged right now, so I don't see how that is. But I'm going to end off with, um, especially if you're dealing with mental health challenges, it can be really hard because it's something that people can't see. But what happens in between these two ears, the things that we think about, it really makes a difference. So I am coming on here saying this to you because I'm so good with cheerleading for other people, but not for myself. So please hold me accountable. If you don't hear from me, you know, uh, leave a comment and say like, hey, Nina, how are you doing? Please, because what we say for ourselves does matter. Just because you are allowing your roots to grow and your hair to go gray does not mean you let yourself go. Does it happen sometimes? Yes. We haven't washed our hair. We haven't, you know, got ourselves together. But the next available opportunity, pick one thing that you can do to take care of yourself because it does matter. Better. When you feel confident and you take care of yourself, that also makes a big difference with how others see us and confidence is attractive. So that's what we're working on um, more so. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's live. You could leave me a comment. Let me know what stood out to you the most. And like I said, I'll be keeping you posted on my challenge when I take my meds tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I will see you on the next one. Any questions also that you have on your gray hair, please leave them and I'll um, answer them in the next live. Thank you guys so much for your support as always. It was nice to talk to you, Haslin. Hi, Sheila. Hugs. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. All right, we'll talk soon. Next video. Bye.